Kojima with the pro with one of the heaviest hitters in all of mixed martial arts. The number 10th ranked UFC light heavyweight Jamal Hill in the flesh. Phoenix, Arizona, UFC 274. How we doing? We doing good, Small. I'm happy to be here, man. Excited for these fights. Man, whew. fan, fanboy, fan time. Chaos Williams, he's got a big fight against Randy Brown. I think that's going to be the last one before they kick off the main card. Fireworks. John Attic said yesterday, that's the one he's starring. Man, yeah, bro. I'm excited for that one. You know, Chaos is must-see TV. He's always action. He comes to bang. And uh, Randy's been around for a while. He's put on some pretty good fights. But, man, you not. You already know. You already know I'm rocking this main gang. You know, it's not. It's not. What did what one but like said? Like my man said, it's not personal. It's just punishment. Both you guys like to put the lights out of your opponent. By the way, congratulations. August 6th, you got a main event against Tiago Santos. That was released a few days ago. What's your initial thoughts now? Man, it's only one real sludge ever in this division. It's the time when they really know who it is. It's going to be your second main event coming off back-to-back -back performance of the Knights. Obviously, the brutal KO over Johnny Walker. That's on everybody's highlight reel. Yeah, um, it was it was it was good. You know, I, um, I was I was happy to go in and uh, see all the work and preparation and some of the things that I implemented work out and things like that. And uh, I think I showed some things in that fight that I don't think a lot of people really seen, but it's there. What do you make of your opponent, though, Tiago Santos? He's one and four in his last five fights, but he's got a nice number next to his name. A win over him. Where does that bring you? Um, hopefully closer to closer to the ultimate dream, which is the title. Um, he's been around for a long time. He's a true test. Um, and yeah, you know, I just feel like I got the tools just to just to get it done. I'm just I'm just eager now just to just to show that, you know, just to go out and just show what I can do. You know, I'm not worried about nothing else but just showing myself. They call you sweet dreams for a reason. When you envision fighting for the title, who do you think's gonna be holding the strap that you're gonna be facing inside the octagon? Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know who'll be holding it, but uh it don't matter, man. It really don't matter. I'm coming. I'm coming for everybody. Well, next weekend matters. The main events in the light heavyweight division. You got Jan Bohovic against Rakic. Who do you like in that one? Hmm. Man, Rakic, like, although I will say I, I, I do not really like watching him fight because it's boring, but, like, he finds a way to win. He's a gamer, bro. He knows how to win. Um, but, I don't know. Jan's a former champion, things like that. But, uh, I don't know, bro. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one, actually. Now, when you really think about it, yeah, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Well, the last time the Schmo interviewed you here in Phoenix, Arizona, you're fighting Paul Craig. It was the last time you lost. But then you've been on a streak, man. You've been winning. Your relationship with Paul Craig, though, it's on the up and up. One of the classiest things you did, man, you drink with the guy. You're a gamer either way. Yeah, man, you know, um, that whole thing was just a misunderstanding about some things that were said that, that, uh, that, that came from a source that wasn't wasn't related to Paul, which it was misplaced. So, you know, it was only right as men. We came together, we talked about it, and, uh, yeah, we squashed it, you know. He's a, he's really a good dude, you know. And uh, I got to see I'm glad I got to see that, and I'm glad I got to show him the, the real type of person I am. For sure, man. Now, is the light heavyweight division, is that where you're always going to make your name? You ever see yourself going up to the heavyweight division, making a legacy? You know, uh, you know, you know I like snacks, uh, big and small, so, you know, uh, we have to see, you know, uh, paychecks, paychecks, paychecks. As long as they look right, you know, Sweet Dreams here to fight. Oh, Sweet Dreams. What's the after party look like tonight, man? Live, live. You already know, Phoenix. If you see me, you know I'm lit. Turn up. For real. Can we get a final message for all the Sweet Dreams fans out there worldwide? Hey, you know, I love y'all. Stay tapped in. You know, uh, man, it's, I got a lot to say to y'all. You know, it's just, man, it's just love, man. I've just, been, I've just been getting so much love this week, you know, and everything like that. I can't wait to be back in front of y'all putting on some more action because you know when I'm in there, it's all action. Certainly is. You never disappoint. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. USC 274, Phoenix, Arizona. We're out.